Okay, let me try again. Sorry, I'm just not in the best mood. But somebody asked me this and it's on my mind. I'm not going to be able to sleep unless I get it done. And I just... Ugh. Okay, so hi guys. Welcome to another Mighty Ginkgo tutorial. My name is Zero. Please pardon the... Because I don't feel like this. So, here we go. Um, I'm show you how to convert Sims animations into Second Life animations so you can use them wherever, whatever, whatever. So... What you want to do is download yourself a copy of Sim Studio 4, then open it up, and then we're going to select animation because we're going to have to extract it. And then it's going to ask you to save it as a package file. You can just name it whatever you want. It doesn't matter because we're not going to use it. Just hit save. And then it's going to open up. It's going to ask you where do you want. You want to export it, import or clear. We want to export, so we're just going to click the um, clips first because if you try to click anything but that it's not going to work so we're going to click clips and then it's going to ask you um, what body do you want to use as the base for it it's important that you use the right body for your animation because if you use the wrong um, body then the animation looks a little bit weird like you wouldn't use a small dog animation for a large dog animation because again it'll be weird and distorted so we're just going to stick with the adult female and not do anything special but it's up to you for whatever animation that you want to use now that we have that selected we're just going to select this box down here that says EA clip and then we're going to press export wait for it to go and it's going to ask you which clip do you want so all of these are animations here at the sims and the thing about this is you will have to export what you want um, one at a time some of them are blanks some a lot of them are dupes because they have different facial expressions and all that jazz um but we just want something simple so i remember the one that was really funny that me and party city devil were laughing at was the the cas walks the walks that you do when you're um picking how you like to walk around in the character creation menu we had the creepy one and that was f hilarious but I did it wrong and so it sank the chest at the time but I'll show you how to fix it so you don't have that issue so um walk angry loco I know it should be like Kaz what is it even called crazy oh yeah that's a crazy vampire vampire face since a vampire Vampire walk. Oh, I'm not typing in. Yeah, it's a campire. Alright, let's see. Cast vampire flash fangs. Change forms. Flash fangs. It would be there, but... You know it would be easier if I just type cast. Cast walk confident, energetic, goofy, perky, snotty, swagger. Which one is old and creepy? That's the one. <laughs> that makes me laugh. So when you save, it's going to save as a blend. And it's important that you download the blender that it says it needs to use to work. I'm not sure if it still does that, but um, before you need like 7 0 or something like that. Very old blenders for this to work, so it's good for me. Okay, so we got that. We got what we want. When you're done, it'll open up. Now, I'll click it and it opens up inside of another blender, but I need to open it up inside of an old blender because I don't know how to disable all the stuff inside the new blenders. So I'm going to open up this blender. Sure, it's taking a minute. Okay. Now we're gonna go. Creepy walk. Yes, yeah, the walk. Okay, so we got the walk, and we need to disable everything, enable everything. So click all the eyes open. Click all this open. I don't know how to do this in the new blender so I'm doing it in the old blender but if you know how to do it just make sure 
everything is able to be edited and active because by default they have it deactivated and locked so just enable everything go through okay so once we got that all done we're just going to hit save and we're going to open it up in a new blender well new fruit to me uh blender 2.81 is the one that i'm using so i'm going to open it up in that one oh so what's the zodiac engine that's final fantasy 12 stuff Sorry, give it a minute and pause it. Okay, so now it's here. It's in here. We need to start doing the retargeting. So first thing we want to do is select our bones here and then go down to the timeline and then press G and scoot it over one frame. Then you're going to press N and open up the tab. Select your Onigiri tab. Um, go to animation. Scroll down to uh, reference. No. Enable pose library, go to load. We're going to use our T pose that file I have in here. Then you're going to choose the happy pineapple. It's going to put it in the T pose, which we need because Second Life wants, likes T pose animations. It don't really fancy the other non T pose animations. Uh, so once it's in the T pose, you're going to hit reference pose. Then you're going to say yes, create a reference here, like the little arrow create into that, and then create reference pose. So once the reference pose is created, we are going to then go to character creation tools, then retarget animation or retarget motion, and then load map. And then you're going to use the map that I provided because I think I added more bones to it than what's there. So mermaid sims. And then you're going to press action. Now, if you want to check everything out to make sure that it's square, you can put it behind it a little bit at like 070. But if you do on a whole bunch of them, uh, once you check and see that it's right, you can just leave it at that and use action. So we press action and then we roll it through and you see it's going just fine. Because this is a looping animation, we'll have to set it as a loop. And we also have to do some work with the uh, chess. So um, now it's time to export it out. So we're going to select the second life skeleton. Make sure that it's the second life skeleton that's selected and not the sim skeleton. So we're going to select our second life skeleton that's back here. Um, close our character tools and go back into the animation tab. Oh, wait. We want to get the right frame rate. So let's select your bones and then you want to press acquire and let it fill in the start frame. Since it's on zero, that's our rest thing for the T-pose. If we leave it like that, when it plays in second life, it'll look like this and we don't want that what we want to do is start it on frame two and that'll make it loop so i'm going to keep doing that so two to 34. so when we go to our animation exporting part we're just going to select start frame at two and then end it at 34. you can be safe and make it 33 and look at that just to make sure that it keeps a good loop okay um, then we're going to go to export our animations and we want to name it Creeper. Um, make sure the base priority, I always put mine's at three. That way if anybody has better hand or facial things, they are able to play those animations and it won't be dominated by this person's lack of faith, faith, face, the lack of face bones. Um, so anyway, I put it on three. That's just a personal thing. You can choose whatever you want. So since it's a looping animation, we got to tell it where we want the loop. So start frame would be the same thing as it was at the bottom. So 2 and then 33. And the last thing we want to do is uncheck the box down here that says volume. Because if you don't, it will keep the location of the chest bones, which is down here. The Sims breast bones are a lot lower than the second life one. So it will pull your chest down and sink it in which you don't want so we want to make sure that the volume bones are unchecked with that now if you are one of those people who are asking well I want the sims facial animations then you will just have to check out that tutorial we did on how to retarget um, and create a bone map that's 
just look for the tutorial with the Animal Crossing character, and it's the same thing. You would just add more face bones to that map, and then use that instead of the one that I'm giving you now. But personally, I don't recommend that because their facial expressions are pretty dramatic, and Second Life's location of their bones, like, it varies the person to person. And what this thing does is that it keeps the location of the bone. So if you were to copy the bone location and motion from the Sims there, it can drastically deform the face. And you don't want that because in related animation and that face goes like bleh, So you don't want that. Um, so that being said, just use this one. <laughs> Make your own face animations. Okay, so now we got everything all set up. It's time for us to export. Again, make sure that you do not have the Sims animation select the Sims skeleton. You want to export the second light one because if you have the Sims one selected and you try to press export animation, um, it will give you this error. Its rig has been flagged as not being compatible for second life. Make it a second life one. So you want to select the you know second life skeleton right there. And there's a mosquito biting me in the middle of my back. Baby, help me. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, press export. Oh my god, yes. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I'm fine. So now, now that it's exported out, it is now ready for you to use inside Second Life. <laughs> I'm kind of broke right now. Mentally and monetarily, so you just have to take my word for it and upload yours on your own. So that's how you convert Sims animations to Second Life. Good luck, have fun with your project. I'm going to be. Oh, damn bugs.